everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's street ride video. And when I see these cars, and because we see them a lot, I always find uh, detail that you can't really see in the pictures. I wanna spend a little time going over the hard work and effort that people put into building something like this. What you don't understand if you've never owned one or built one, is it takes years to do it. And people say, well, why does it take years? What if they just start on right away and they only work on that car? Well, because it takes so many hours to take these 50, 60, and 70 year old cars, right? And make them new again, then make them custom as well, right? So that they drive like today's modern car. Cause that's really what you're looking for in something like this. And this is really what we have here today. So uh, as we walk around the car, I wanna point out some things you may or may not have seen. I wanna talk about some of the drivability some power, uh, the paint, which is just so buttery smooth. This is like buttery smooth. Sorry, I went there in my mind. All right, uh, let's get started and let's get walking around the car. All right, so many parts for a car are not available anymore. You have to find somebody who will actually take those parts and refurbish them. You say, well, Tom, what does that, what does that mean when you say refurbish them? Are they reproduced? Are they whatever? No, but maybe for instance, like this piece of trim right here. Uh, I didn't research whether this was available or not, but let's just say that it's not, right? Because they don't make trim for every car ever built. So someone actually has to uh, get out all of the 70 years of, of dings, dents, scratches, and whatever, bring it back to life, re-chrome it, polish it, and give us all of this down the car. So when I talk about this stuff, these parts alone, bumpers, trim, grill, side pieces, stuff like that, can be tens of thousands of dollars. Well, don't, how could a bumper be $10,000? Well, it's not just a bumper. It's all of this and a craftsman to find somebody who can do this work. And this is the way it becomes expensive and why buying a car when it's already done is always the better way to go. Throw in mirror finish, pistachio uh, paint. The color on this car is spectacular. I don't know if you can see it in the pictures of the vid, but it is so cool. Even uh, Stella, who's coming to say hi to us today, uh, loves this color too. And the, the underneath of the car is done, uh, the uh, dash is done, the engine compartment is done. Like this is a super, super high end expensive build. It's an awesome car. Come up here and let's look at the quality of the paint for a minute because that's an important piece. Can you see all of the ribs uh, of the ceiling in there? Can you see how clear all the letters are crystal on there? Can you see how bright all the new chrome is and polished and, and really just a show car kind of car driven around a little bit. This is why I get excited because you know, if you can jump in something this weekend and enjoy it, it's the only way to go. All right, so um, why do I love these cars? Well, first off, I love the way they drive and they look. And so amongst the other supermodels in this showroom, it's still a great looking car, but this car outside on the road, ridiculous, right? It's like from another planet. It gets the same reaction a Ferrari gets out there because you don't ever see them. Some things are optional and some things you can make some changes to is why is my favorite part about this. So. While all the hard work has been done and you didn't have to put the time and effort into that, you can also tastefully update this car and then make it your own. Let's say that you don't love this wheel and tire set. We could put a nice set of modern 18 inch in the rear, 17s in front, 19s in the rear, 18s in front, a nice set of wheels and tires on this car, give us a wider footprint, give us a completely different look in here and modernize the look of it if you wanted to. Some people love the old school of this. We can even do a set of Chevy Rally wheels on here uh, that have a, a center cap, like a derby cap. So anyway, we have some options and that's really what I wanted to say. All right, so many of our clients um, who get a car from us here, they just love cars. They don't really care about what's under here. They obviously want it to work, they want it to look nice, but they really, it's not their thing, right? Other people want to go to a car show, want to spend some time under their tinkering, want to do a little whatever waxing, right? In the case of either one of those things, this car is ready to do that. I wanted to show you what I meant by that, all right? Okay. 
there is a lot, a lot of detail and effort in here and I want to share it with you. I want to show it to you so you can kind of see that. All right. So in here we have completely painted all of the engine's compartment. This is way over restored from a, what originally was as a new car. Okay. Stainless steel fasteners along here, right? You may say, oh, Tone, how much could a fastener cost, right? Agreed. However, it's hundreds of fasteners in here, meaning that people didn't take the shortcut building this car. They could have easily saved uh, $1,000 by using regular fasteners, but they didn't want to do that. These are the small little things I see when I see a higher end build, okay? In here, we got billet valve covers on top of uh, uh, the crate, aluminum head, right? Uh, crate engine from GM, right? Polished uh, alternator, polished air conditioning compressor with a color matched uh, pulley on it. We have a beautiful aluminum radiator, which is two times the size of the original factory radiator. Of course, this car has air conditioning, which we discussed, your condensers right up here, and just nicely done. Like, look, all of these fasteners are, are polished. Throw in little stuff like hand-painted. This is hand-painted little pieces in here. You may say that's not a big deal to you, but I'm telling you that when I see that kind of stuff, I also see uh, ceramic coated headers. This is a full custom build. Nothing about this car is stock. For instance, this car has rack and pinion steering. Rack and pinion steering all of that has been put in down below also has power steering you forgot to ask about that power steering is a big deal these are big cars you want power steering all painted and detailed and waxed underneath here this was a monumental effort to build this kind of car and then stainless catch cans over here um, over for overflow everything tidy detailed and whatever i might suggest i might suggest that we add an electric fan to this car it has a mechanical fan to it i think the electric fan would be really good and help you uh when you go to cruises and stuff like that your call no worries if you don't it's obviously driven just fine without it but i'd like i'm a big fan of keeping things cool and that might be the thing to do it anyway that's all i wanted to say beautifully done under here all kinds of billet parts and you'd be proud to open the hood for friends family or even a car show so part of the effort of making a great car is also finishing and moving around. Like this car has all new glass, new stainless trim. And when you look through here, all of the interior is finished beautifully. The trunk and all this stuff, all new stainless here. This is all hand painted, right? And then this here, all new custom and uh, purple dots. It looks so cool going down the road. Lastly, you've seen the pictures underneath the car and it's really spectacular. But there is also an enormous amount of effort put into this here, right? We don't have the lights on right now in the car, so uh, these trunk lights aren't on, but these are LED trunk lights. Beautiful piece of carpet that's bound and stitched in the same color combination as the rest here, okay? Then back here, we have hidden storage, right? If you want to put something back here and you want everybody to see that, that's kind of nice in there. And again, back to stainless screws, rubber bumpers like they're supposed to be. None of these parts make for an expensive car. However, all of these parts make for an expensive car. And when the cars, uh, when a car sounds like this, when it closes, somebody's put a lot of time and effort into making sure all of that works right. All right, so you're walking up to your car and going, man, this is a great looking car. And you're smiling like I'm smiling right now. And what you don't get to do is you don't get to tell everybody about every detail in the car. And there's going to be things that I forget as well. But I want to show you a couple small things. Like, for instance, here, uh, this. I just want you to hear that. Look at the fit and the gaps that are there, all right? But more importantly... There's a hidden antenna that has an enormous amount of time put in it and it's color matched to the body. I just turn the stereo on. Turn the stereo on. I mean, seriously, man, come on. How cool is that, right? All right. So come join me in here, because I want to spend a minute in here for a couple reasons. All right. 
This is nice, man. This is all new and done. Beautiful carpets with the binding that matches the door trim, the two-tone door trim, new headlight. Uh, the lights in the bottom of the doors work, the LED lights down there. Uh, these work here. And you say, well, Tone, isn't it supposed to work? Yeah, of course it's supposed to work, but so many times this stuff does not work, okay? Now, let's talk about a couple things. One, one is that, uh, let's say, uh, you didn't love this steering wheel and you wanted to get a cool billet wheel with uh, like a leather half wrap on it. Good call. We can do that here before we send it to you. A couple small updates. Those were some of the things I was talking about. Maybe a set of floor mats in this color, okay, but with the binding that matches this color here, right? We can do that for you real quick before the car comes to you. Everything else is done. There's nothing else to do. Come on, man, you're gonna throw the kids or another couple in the back, right? You're gonna throw them back there. This has seating for six. Can you imagine going out with two sets of your friends, couples, right, two other couples, uh, or with the kids in this car going to dinner? It is a very different experience at that point than jumping in your SUV that you do every day. It's got a little rumble to it, not to mention, excuse me, please. Oh, what you got in here? Oh, what you got? Oh, what you got? Yeah, what we got is we got a digital sound system here. We got storage in here that's felt lined. Felt lined. Are these, all these little detail stuff, man, I'm trying to tell you. For instance, even the door lock knobs are color matched to the car. Come on, man. All this little stuff adds up. This is all polished stainless with these great brackets. These are cup holders. Cup holders. You put your cup on there. Maybe you go to the drive through Full custom gauges, okay? And we saw this. Modern style tilt wheel. Making it easy to get in and out. Throw it in drive. Maybe you'd rather have a shift on the floor. That can also be moved to the shift on the floor. So anyway, all these little tiny things you can do to the car. We've got seat belts for people that are color matched as well. And you're kind of ready to go. It's why I get excited about these cars because at the end of the day, it's a lot of time and effort to do these and a lot of money to do these. And that's why when you get it like this and it's done and ready to go and it's a lot less expensive, it's the only way to fly. All right, so we talk about some of the things that you can add to the vehicle or make some changes on. One of them might be that you'd like maybe to get some power windows. It's a little expensive to put power windows in. It's a few thousand bucks, maybe maybe a little bit less or whatever, because this is all custom and what have you. Oh, I'm sorry. It already has power windows. How are you doing? Huh? How cool is that, that they integrated them into the handles to make it look old school. But if you don't love that, we can also change that to uh, some switches. You can maybe do that, but I thought it was really nice. I thought you should see that. All right, so let's close up the video and run down some of the things that we discussed along the way. And there was a lot of stuff we discussed, right? For instance, an incredible body on this car. The body is beautiful. And I tell you that uh, I would like to send a video of just doing this because it feels like I don't know, I don't know what you might call that, like the belly of a puppy, right? The belly of the puppy. All right, so uh, this French stand antenna, right? All of the chrome and stainless have been done. Some pieces painted body color so they didn't stick out. Really nicely tasteful done. Under the hood, we saw uh, all the billet accessories. We saw air conditioning. We saw rack and pinion steering. We saw power brakes. We saw power steering, okay? Uh, we went inside the car and we saw a hidden digital sound system with that polished kind of cool picnic table set up inside. Seating for up to six people. We talked about how cool that would be to be able to go out with a couple couples to dinner, right? Right? The six of you going to dinner or taking the kids somewhere too, that would be a lot of fun. Uh, power windows, just this is a real world car you can use now, right? That you wouldn't take you two years to do it. You wouldn't have to find somebody who would build it for you. Great color combination. And then lastly, we talked about making some small upgrades if you wanted to. If you wanted to upgrade the wheel and tire set, no big deal. If you wanted to change the wheel, the steering wheel here to a more uh, street rod, modern billet and leather wrapped wheel, that could be done too. If you like it just the way it is, no worries. We'll leave it just the way it is. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. And uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. Maybe share it with your friends. They might like to see this as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're shooting new stuff all the time and sending it out there. And I'll see you on the next one.